time, another area hard hit. That was Bartlesville. Yeah, I want to check in with Douglas uh, Brafcore. He's actually been out there since early this morning as well, looking at potential damage. And Douglas, in your, your live look there, we can see that the sun is starting to rise. So what else are you seeing this morning? That's right, guys. It's dawn in Bartlesville, and I don't know if you can hear it, but the chirping of the birds has replaced the roaring of chain star saws that have just been tearing through the uh, the sound waves of this uh, residential neighborhood on the south side since the late hours of yesterday and throughout the, uh, the early hours of this morning. The damage is extensive throughout many parts of the Bartlesville area. Just take a look at this house right here. A tree fell onto the roof and what appears to be uh, potentially be the attic or the second floor. It's also dented that white, a white Honda sedan. I don't know if you could also see over there. There is also a whole fully sized trampoline that has been thrown up onto the top of that electrical pole. And there's also just been such a huge uh, human impact. I spoke with one man in this neighborhood who said his house is probably beyond repair, though they will have to wait for the sun to fully rise to get a full assessment. But otherwise, it's not a good day for a lot of people here. Reporting live in Bartlesville, Douglas Braff, 2 News, Oklahoma. Back to you, Corey.